Hello, 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 my dear student. This week we will be covering lesson 11.4, which is about spheres. The essential question is, how does the volume of a sphere relates to the volumes of other solids? Vocabulary that we will be taking, hemisphere. The objectives of this lesson is to calculate the volume of a sphere and solve problems involving the volumes of the spheres. So a lesson overview, here we will quick and explain. We will compare the volume of the sphere with the volume of a cylinder, how they are related, how they are different. Then we'll go to the first conceptual understanding part, which is about explore the volume of the sphere. What is the volume of a sphere? Why does the volume formula for a sphere make sense? We will use half of a sphere and a cylinder to help us answer these questions. A plane parallel to the bases intersects half of a sphere with radius r and a cylinder with radius r and height r. The cylinder has a cone with radius r and height r removed from its center. We continue watching this video in our class. And then we we'll move on to the uh, formula, which is that the volume of the sphere is four thirds of the product of pi and the cube of the radius of the sphere. As I always tell you, remember that the volume is three dimensions multiplied by each other. That's why R is cubed here. Then we will use the volume of the sphere to solve problems. Here's the first one. We'll use the formula of the sphere to solve it. We solve for the radius, find the surface area of the sphere. Then we will learn how to find the volume of hemisphere. Hemisphere is half of a sphere. Since it's half of it, the 4 over 3 will be reduced to... 2 over 3, because when you multiply 4 over 3 by half, it will be 2 over 3. And then the finding the volumes of composite figures. Composite figures are figures made up of multiple uh, solids. We will use the area for each one of them, which is the volume of the cylinder plus the volume of the hemisphere. And then... We will calculate it, find the final answer. So as you can see, our lesson this week is an interesting lesson. We will learn each one of them, how to apply each rule here. What is the square root of I square minus H square and many other examples. And then we will go to practice, practice, and practice. I hope you will understand this lesson as you have understood all the lessons before. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask.